Okay, here we go. Here we go. We we were back into it. It's Ze it's Zephyr versus Globo. They yeah. were they were antsy. Yeah, they were way too overzealous. You guys you guys wanted it as bad as they did. Yeah. So you guys didn't miss much. It was a bunch of back and forth, kind of them hitting each other, but no real big damage. We didn't see any uh, super big Bayo combos. Oh, uh, some strange play in the neutral, I might add, by Globo for a bit because there was one he he used a down smash it, it worked but he did use that down smash to punish uh zephyr i think it was off of a whipped grab so yeah. and and globals oh, globals neutral yeah globals neutral has been something that i've seen gradually improve to to where it's like uh, uh, soon like I, I was seeing him do a lot of like the same thing like oh i'm gonna space me back here or oh i'm just gonna blah 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 into tomahawk tomahawk grab which does work does work and gets him very far but he, uh, oh, he got back good here, guy. almost died. <laughs> but like he's been mixing up so well. I I I've been uh, hearing about him working in the lab. And props to Globo for getting this far. What what is this for? This is for fourth, fourth? place. This is for fourth place. Globo uh, or making the loser it. The loser just gets fourth. So I guess yeah. this is for third. Oh, good conversion right yeah, there. Is that forward or one side B up B? Yes, it there? was. That's pretty nice. Off the top for Zephyr. Yeah, but 94% is a. Uh, Pretty close to kill percent for someone as light as Bayonetta. That was good DI right there by uh, She Globo. may be thick, but she light. She thick, but she also light. Oh, nope. My dream girl. Back door, boys. Won't do it. I see just a little bit of planking right there. Not sure what Sonic can do against that. Yeah, not too much. Not too much a lot of people can do. Smash has pretty good range. Maybe oh, back door, oh, oh, back within, but the back throw still. Not, not gonna quite. kill, though. Strange. Keeps going for that weird spin dash thing. Okay. Yeah, I've I've seen it work, but not enough in my opinion. Yeah. To where, but but there's not too much that I guess Sonic can do else besides just kind of putting out raw back throw this time. Wow. Oh, no, he steals it out. So. Yeah. He keeps going deep. I don't know how I feel about going off stage for Spinetta. F tilt wow. will. Forward tilt killed. Forward tilt stronger than uh, back throw confirmed. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> All right, now uh, he's got to pay, pay, play it a bit patiently. Globo definitely has a sizable lead, and oh, shout out to Antu, and we're going right up. Good SDI. Yeah, but that's a SDI down right there. Let's see if Globo is able to read that maybe next time. I know Globo has been working on that very specifically, reading uh, SDI and reacting. Yeah, and that was a good good reaction right there by uh, Zephyr um, off the Tomahawk. Oh, he reacted right? to that one. All right, that was an up SDI. So good on Zephyr to mix it up. All right. Globo just kind of staying above Zephyr. I wonder when he's going to call it out. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it calls out a jump right there with the back air. He's getting caught in, in some percent. Nice jumps over here by uh, Globo, but finally gets thrown off He just like ran stage. into the grab. Like, like Zephyr just stood there and said, come here, baby. And opened up his arms. Oh, almost got him with the up air. Yeah, he is an up air percent. Oh, is he going to catch him? Nope. Ooh. Good tomahawks right there. I like the pressure Globo's applying right now. Yeah. As he's uh, got himself a pretty nice lead right here, but no lead is safe against uh, Sonic. You know, sometimes we see like falling up air, up B, mm -hmm. up air kill at about this percent. Right, I don't this... know how it works with rage and stuff. Now, if that... Oh, wait, we might see it. Oh, he goes nair. for the nair. That was an interesting choice. Nice. Oh, back throw. Well, I mean, I don't oh, know what I was excited platform. for, but. Yeah, I think Ness. Oh, that's there it is. Yep, right that's there, confirmed. Though. Not missing the jump that time. He kind of did the whole, like, uh... We've been seeing Bayos do this so much lately, like Tyroy, Salem, all the Bayos. Mm. The run-off, quickly side B. Yeah. They're able to use that to uh, confirm and start combos. And it's really fast, and then you can't really do much about it. It's pretty dumb. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, but uh, you know it's uh very good stuff coming out of Globo. I think if Zephyr wants to take this uh, best of five that we have, I think he just needs to get inside the rhythm of Globo because like there is a method, there is a very methodical method to this madness. If you see with his tomahawks, he has a he has a pattern and it's and it's a, a beat. <laughs> he might as well just be uh to the beat of the music. So maybe if you gotta take off your headphones, listen to that. Yeah, you know, whatever works. If I if I see it, I might call it out. Oh, just gives it to him. Yeah, that was a raw back air, and it like hurt, but then he didn't get anything after it. That's gonna be a forward air too, though. Not, not the ideal combo tool. Oh, oh! I thought he was just gonna uh, get a regrab. I'm not sure into what, but a regrab. 
really like Globo's choice of Bayonetta skin. For a long time, he used kind of that Peppermint Bayo. Good for spin Oh, good. Good setup to, to re-grab uh, Globo. Good setup indeed. But he's going to get hit by a heel side, which will only cost him an up air that time. He has to be careful because that move will lead to death. It has many times before. Like, uh, look at Mistake for Zero a couple weeks ago at whatever that tournament was. Oh, just barely, City or just barely slips in. Seeing it a lot more patiently. Here's that patience effort that we're seeing. But oh, he goes oh. down. Oh, yeah. He Smash, just, Smash is definitely going a bit more faster pace than, than we were anticipating. Yeah, which I'm glad because you know. One yeah. thing I like right here from Zephyr is how he's mixing up his SDI. Mm -hmm. Like we're not seeing him do the same two kinds of SDI very often. Yeah, he's been going off the... He hasn't been off the top quite yet. No, not yet. Let's see if he keeps it that way. Oh, and, and right there, you saw you saw the, the bit of the, the pattern that we saw. It was like, empty hop, empty hop. Here we go. Ooh, I feel like he kind of was waiting for that air dodge, and neither of them did anything. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, up there. Okay, not going to kill quite yet, though. Zephyr at a nice 1, 2, 3%. Oh, <gasps> no tech! He's dead. Yeah. Is he dead? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, is he dead? <laughs> Sometimes you do have to question that when it's Bayonetta off stage. Yeah, but Bayonetta did not have her jump, and when she doesn't have her jump, her recovery is uh, not great. No. Oh, that could have been off the top. Lucky for uh, Zephyr, there was no rage on that Bayo. This has to be a bit, bit careful. This is, where I, this is where I believe we will be seeing the patient Zephyr. Especially at this percent, and Bayonetta's comeback factor. Just so ridiculous. Don't risk it. But there's yeah. the... Yeah. Up attack, not very patient. And you and you could see it. You could see it like the tomahawk, tomahawk, tomahawk. Here we go. Yep. He's he got tomahawked and died. Which is you know kind of Globo's plan. Globo used to be a Bowser main, so his tomahawks are pretty on point. I'm not yeah, he, lie. his grab game is very good. It's probably the best. He's got the best grab game out of all the Bayos, but hands down. The STL Bayos, pretty main Bayos in the world. So that's a pretty bold claim. Oh, out, out of all the STL Bayos, definitely him. Yeah. I give I give uh, which times to Dristan, I guess. Um, I give which Dristan. twists to Blazing Sky. Um, I grabs know. to Globo and Antu gets smash attacks. <laughs> oh, Antu gets smash attacks free. I, I, I give Dristan neutral and Blazing Sky punish game. Globo uh, best at being 17. <laughs> but looking like he's 12. Because they're all 17. Or Blazing Sky might be like 16. But they're all children. It looks like... Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but we got a bit of a blackout, so uh Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna give you guys awesome play by play right now. Yeah, we got the optimal sixty nine percent on Sonic. Yeah, well Bayonetta is now at just over hundred at hundred and nine percent. And Global went for a very uh zealous up smash right there, trying to catch a a ledge option and Globo definitely playing this a bit safer and we have uh, we have stream set up right back. Yeah, we're back guys. You know, we oh, didn't lose your phone. This could do it! No. Ooh, I wanted to see more forward airs. I feel I like a nice old forward air one, two, three might have killed. I thought he was uh, just gonna go with oh, a witch twist and no tech. Stage spike. Stage by stage spike giveth, and stage spike taketh away. Right. That was a very very quick uh quick tech situation. Like he fast fell that immediately. I think yeah. right off of the air dodge. Yeah, Zephyr's got to be kicking himself about that for sure. So yeah. it's gonna be two zero for Globo, right? Mm-hmm. It is indeed two zero for Globo. Yeah, at the very end, which what you guys missed actually was literally Zephyr just running back and forth because he was trying to not get hit because yeah. time was starting to get about two minutes ish. And Zephyr hasn't been Zephyr hasn't been getting that those uh those late those late game ti timeouts uh into into these uh last few sets. No, and it's kind of it makes sense because Bayonetta kills. Yeah. A lot like Bayonetta doesn't just build up damage. Bayonetta just straight up kills. And, you know, when you give Bayo six minutes to take two stops, mm -hmm. like, eventually they're going to make something work. Yeah, and that kind of sucks because he really has been committing to that to that mindset and to, like, just come so close to where it really matters and then just, okay, now you have to change everything you know. Ooh, I thought he was going to get the tech situation chase thing after that, but he did not. So we're going to see Zephyr remain unscathed. Only 39% on him right now versus uh, Globo's 42%. All right, Globo just slipping in the back air. I like that. I like the way he's approaching with uh, side B. Not something you see too, too often. Normally, you'll kind of see them approach with like a grounded side B or mm -hmm. an air. 
Global just kind of going in. Oh, sends him up. All right, and Zephyr once again escapes. Very good. SDI. I want to see some forward airs from Globo after the up B to the first side B. Because that will connect, and that will combo into an... Uh, oh, an try RP. going for it all. Oh, just stands right up into it. Oh, reverse there, edge guard. Nope. There's that oh, another B. one. Yo, these players, like, playing for fourth place, but you wouldn't know it by all these texts they're missing. <laughs> All right, now Zephyr getting a little antsy. Whiffs two grabs. He's going to take this damage. Oh, Global catch him with a lot oh, of that percent. Was, that was pretty dang optimal right there from Globo. I like to see that kind of stuff for sure. All right. So he's got 56% on here, and he is looking to take this with a hot 3-0. Yeah, it's slipping away. Catch him high. Oh, a bit too high. Yeah. Oh, good wait. Good wait by Globo. Uh, waiting to see what uh, Zephyr would do there. Ooh, and Globo, calm down. Hold on, Globo. There was a platform there. Well, that was kind of awkward. He only got the first hit of uh, up air. Yeah, right now. Back throw, not even going to take this stock quite yet. Yeah. Remember Zephyr's back in the day, that would have killed. Zephyr's got a long way to climb. All right, here comes Globo rolling onto the stage. Oh, this... Nope. Yeah, we're getting to a really high percent with all this rage. Base this. the witch time, but it won't kill quite yet. Another one. Back throw. Still not killing. That thing is pretty dang stale. Oh, no. And no jump. But he's back. Oh, what an... Getting tricky with it. Yeah, he was... He was fine. He was uh, trying to grab another approach. One thing I like about Globo is the way he uses fast falls. He just... He just makes Bayo look so fast. Yeah, it makes her look like a plastic bag, and then all of a sudden, just boom, fastball. It's like drifted in the wind, like. It was, it was, it was fastballs like that. Uh, both those fastball nares that actually took, took those uh, stocks on a. Uh, Up throw Zephyr. is there going go. to kill. Finally, 150 percent right. with some good rage on Sonic. And again, plenty of time, but the percents are not in your favor. No, but Globo does have a rage reset, which we can't see coming clutch. We've seen it before. You know, all of a sudden, they oh. have no rage and combos work. The stretcher almost taking him into his doom. Tomahawk grab. Yeah. Catches him. Fast fall in air. That he did not have a jump, so he should be. Oh, he but he had used, a, he used an attack, yeah. He he was he was screwed there, because if he didn't air dodge, he got hit. But then mm -hmm. he air dodged, and then air dodged right past the ledge. Yeah, really a really nice, uh, clean little trick right there to get Globo with that 3-0. And he's going to move on, taking at least third place here. So he's going to.